Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today, we're gonna to try the new US dispensing system, Rapid Dragon. Our scenario, fictitious of course. Early 2024, tension has been growing between Taiwan and China. In response, US has moved two squadrons of cargo planes into Taiwan to act as a deterrent. They will be operating with the new Rapid Dragon dispensing system. Timeline. 24th of April 2024, China bombards Taiwan's air bases with over 2,000 cruise and ballistic missiles in a pre-invasion strike. As a result, within 24 hours, 90% of Taiwan's air force is destroyed. This is despite their best efforts to hide and protect them. 25th of April, China launches a huge naval invasion fleet bound for Taiwan's northern tip. United States promises to send her 7th fleet to protect Taiwan, but she's sailing from Japan and will take over 24 hours to arrive within combat range. How can Taiwan defend herself for 24 hours? First, unit overview. Chinese units. First wave of air superiority fighters. 24 J-15Bs playing J-16, 24 J-10Cs, 2 AWACS, 3 HHQ-9 Bravo SAMs, 3 Type 055 destroyers, 6 Type 052C destroyers, 9 Type 071 LHD, 6 Type 901 supply and landing vessels. Total 50 aircraft, 3 SAMs, 24 ships. Taiwan, what's left of their meagre defence? 10% of their air force, 30 F-16Vs. Of the 36 C-130s and C-17s provided by the United States, only 4 C-130s are left viable. 2 AWACS, 3 Patriot batteries. Total, 36 aircraft and 3 SAMs. As you can see, it's very one-sided. A closer look at the battle. China, 3 HHQ-9 SAMs, there there, there. Effective range, 80 miles. AWACS there, there. KJ-2000 type. Here, 24 J-15s playing J-16, all set to maximum skill level, maximum loadout of 8 PL-15, range 120 miles, and 4 PL-10. Their orders, as are all AI today, they will fire at maximum range, and when they are out of long range and medium range missiles, they will RTB. South by 60 miles, 24 J-10Cs, maximum complement, 6 PL-15s, 2 PL-10s. Their job is to pressure any remaining Taiwanese air force and keep them on the ground and or destroy them. This is the first wave. Once this first wave is out of fuel or ammo, they will RTB in 30 minutes. Wave 2 will come. The invasion fleet. Three Type 055, their most modern, expensive, and debatably the world's most powerful destroyer at the moment. At the vanguard, armed with YJ-21 hypersonic ballistic missiles and HHQ-9 Bravo. On the flanks, we have seven 052C 15-year-old destroyers. Still very dangerous. Next, nine 071 amphibious landing dock invasion vessels packed with tanks, supplies, and troops. Five 901 supplement ships packed with everything they need for the invasion in terms of fuel, arms, and spilling over with extra troops. It's a massive invasion fleet costing billions of dollars equivalent. Left to defend Taiwan is an absolute meager force, but they only have to survive one day before the second day of the campaign, or the third day actually, when the US 7th Fleet arrives. Two AWACSs were airborne during the strikes and have survived. They have three Patriots in this area. In fact, I should say about the map, the map is to scale plus or minus 10 miles. So this is a real scaled map. I've had to rotate everything around because of restrictions and that is a north line there. They have a total of 30 F-16Vs at various bases. 20 of them will be AI. This base here, we've got some on this base here. We've got some on this base here, just a few, four there, just three there scattered about that can take off with hastily bodged runways. Each of these 20 are AI, max skill level, blah, 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 with six AIM-120Cs. 
much less powerful weapons than the Chinese today. Also, humans. We've got four humans flying F-16s today. They'll be operating from Kingsfield here. Guys, take an F-16. It could be either a GL F-16 or it can be a core game F-16. Either way, it's armed with the same uh, missiles 6. AMRAMs. You have infinite respawns, and the way I worked it out, humans and AI F-16 should add up to about the 30 that suit the roleplay of 10% of their air force left intact. Now that lot on its own is not going to destroy a huge fleet, but what might come close is this, their last wild card of the 36 Rapid Dragon equipped cargo aircraft, four have remained serviceable and are ready to scramble. These will be human driven. Each is equipped with one Rapid Dragon double pallet, eight barrels. Each barrel contains a AGM-158C Larasm, a stealth anti-ship weapon with a range of 200 nautical miles. We are going to let the battle progress, and this is all going to be done dynamically. As we watch the battle progress, we are going to choose our time when we think it's the time to attack, when we've got best control of the skies, if there is such a thing. Basically, what I expect or hope will happen is the Chinese will fly over, They'll run into a wall of Patriots and F-16s and they will not be destroyed, but they'll be depleted. They'll use a lot of their weapons. They'll use a lot of their fuel. Half of them will probably RTB. The other half will get tangled up in fights with F-16s. At that point, I hope a window will appear for our Hercs. Our Hercs will scramble. All we need to do is get to the base firing threshold of 10,000 feet, at least 200 knots. Once we're there, we will all drop our eight barrel pallets. That is a total of... 32 Lorasms should come out of those pallets and automatically guide because they'll be preset to attack this direction and hopefully attack the fleet, guys. So the job of the human F-16s is to get up and take as much heat away from the Hercules area as possible. So remember, the humans are operating up here in Kingsfield. Just go up and be as hard to shoot down but as engaging as possible. We're not going to beat these Chinese because they're just much better than us. But what we can do is drain their missiles drain their fuel, send them back home, send them packing. That's your job. I've had a little bit of a play on single player just to check we can possibly get everything to work, but I've absolutely not run it through uh, as ever. I've made it as fair as I can. In fact, I've really biased it towards China here. Can we have some predictions, please? Yeah, I, think Ch them. I think China will uh, will win in terms of shooting down and that kind of stuff, but I think Taiwan can do enough to hold off the invasion until day two. Right, and that's the point of Rapid Dragon. A couple of C-17s just sitting, ready to scramble, and it's just a massive deterrent for any naval force. I think Taiwan will definitely be successful because in all the scenarios that we ran prior to this, we very well fended off. But we didn't have naval forces before. And I think the Rapid mm. Dragon will do its job of fending off the naval yep. force. Um, one more thing I've got to say. The Patriots are Pack 2 only. They've used all of their Pack 3 missiles in my role play on day one, uh, shooting down as many Chinese missiles as they can. They still have about 200 Pack 2 missiles left, and so that's all I've given them. Stand by for a big fight. Here we go in Hercules. We're going to have me. I'm just going to start on God mode, guys, just so I can show the viewers the main fight. Simba, Grump, and Violet in Hercs, and we'll wait until we decide to take it off. F-16s, uh, Matrix, drop, Cannonball, Bird. Server is go. Right, first, let's have a look at... What shall we have a look at? Kingsfield. You guys are the last remnants of the Taiwanese. Um, F-16, the and other aircraft, Air Force. You've got to do what you can just to fight them 24 hours, guys. And that's how you're going to play it, guys. You know you're going to die because you're fighting an Air Force of 3,000 planes. But if you can buy 24 hours, Uncle Sam will get here. Let's go and have a good look around. Uh, the AI aircraft slowly taxiing Milsim style like they always do. It's incredibly frustrating. They are GR F-16s. Uh, because they've got the Acer radar in them that makes them more like the uh, Block 72 Victor version that they actually use. Uh, more F-16s here. Our base here. F-16s taxiing towards us. And we've got our Hercs, uh, C-130Js with beautiful Rapid Dragon double pallets in them. Let's have a look at the Chinese today. First, a giant invasion fleet. I mean, look at this sucker. Oh, a thing's happening. Uh, F-16s have been shot out already. Loads of SAMs going out. HQ, nine Bravos, nearly two million a pop. These modern boats are so good. Look, they're firing at 
mm -mm, over 100 nautical miles. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, keep low, guys. Look at that. Type uh, 055, the most modern destroyer. There are five in existence, 16 in total planned, a cost of 0.92 billion equivalent dollars. The older vessels there on the flanks, the 052 classes, there as well. In the middle, we've got the meat of the attack. We've got nine uh, 701 LHDs packed with a lot of Chinese gear. And we've got supply vessels for miscellaneous. Big old invasion fleet. It's uh, just part of a multi-prong invasion that's happening, but all we need to worry about is this first prong before the uh, 7th fleet gets hit. Let's have a look at some fighters. J-15 playing J-16. Uh, for today's purposes, they're going to be pretty much identical with the super long-range Peel-15 120 nautical mile missile. The J-10C. Now, guys, uh, you're not going to be shooting any Chinese fighters down today. You're just too outclassed with your weaponry. But you don't have to. If you run them out of fuel, which is all modelled accurately, run them out of weapons, they'll shoot off home. They're not suicidal. They're not going to just, you know, they will go home. So that's how you beat them. Lots more SAMs. Are the SAMs going to be effective at all? No, they've all run out of speed. Look. They're always going to be a bit ambitious. Money spent so far. One missile. Someone's fired a name. Look, Matrix had a pop. And that's kind of his job. To antagonize people. Fire AMRAMs. You know, be annoying. He's not going to kill anyone. But, well, you never know. He might. But, you know. 82 million spent on Chinese sounds so far. I believe in you, Matrix. Distances. Yeah, I don't. Right, let's see who's up. So, Matrix is up. But, so, they're here. Notice how they're not just suiciding in. They're being uh, obtuse, which is their orders. They're being targets, but difficult to kill targets. They're going to alert all these guys in. We're going to burn all their fuel away, fire all their missiles away, and then they'll have no choice but to RTB. It's a lovely uh, thing as we can do. Let's have a look at AI finally taking off. No, still milsim taxiing. It's so frustrating. There's nothing I can do about it, viewers. It's a real bad part of game, that is. You know, if they were at Taiwan and they were being rushed like this, would they sit and do this? No, they would just take off. Their mind, there's literally nothing I can do about that. And these guys are doing the same. No, one AI is up. One AI is up. Where is There he is. One AI is now up. Go AI. Now, these guys aren't going to be as clever as the humans because they're not humans. They will just charge into combat and probably eat a PL-15. 30 planes left in their entire arsenal of nearly 300 aircraft. Can it make a difference? Okay, these guys are now taking off. Whatever base this is. Equatorial in real life, somewhere in Taiwan. That's right, Equatorian game. Equatorial. Equatorial. Oh, look, guys, they're um, just passing our yep. Herx. Look. Right, the first one's going up from our Herc base. Punch it. F 16 Bs. With completely the wrong markings on. I don't bother with deliveries and stuff, it's just too much. Milsim taxi. I wonder if they do have a hurry up. If Royal Air Forces have a hurry up code to actually get them on the runway quick. Yeah, they do. They have alerts. I was going to say, it's called alert aprons. Well, why can't they do it in game then? Why can't I have an alert takeoff? Right. Okay, these HQs are still going, worryingly, but they're only 500 knots. But look how high they are. They're going to slowly work their way and pop our guys on the head by the looks of things. I should say to you, as only I can see all the missiles, the hostile missiles. These guys here, my guys in the Hercs, they cannot. Uh, Timber, you're welcome to GCI if you want, but there's not really much to do. The first air-to-air -air missile is out. PL-15 from J-15, man. And he is very angry. Bit of a beast of a missile. Not as good as AIM-260, but it's still pretty damn good. Probably equivalent to AIM-120D, something like that. Maybe a little bit better. And it's firing at my boys, my humans who are about to be relieved by these guys, the AI. Oh no, AI's been fired on as well. And doing crazy eyes. We fired our first SAM. There it is, first Patriot. All, all human pilots, closest threat, 47 nautical miles, Angels 36, at a heading of one, two, three. Multiple PL-15s out, lots, 15, 16, all the PL-15s are now out. 17. Well, you're doing your job, boys. You're sucking their missiles. Exactly like I asked you to do. That thing will go now. 100 or so miles. The thing about the modern Chinese missiles, they'll go right over the ocean. Taiwanese missiles have A120C7s that can go about that far. About 60 miles. 
Chinese have these missiles and go all the way across the strait. It's a real problem. Right, first boys are about to get smacked by hate. No, good dodge. Good dodge from Matrix. And he's retaliated with an aim on 20C. Old missile. But it'll scare him at least. 30 mile launch. First human's about to go down. The first peel 15 is bang. Good dodge. Oh, I think happened. He got a missile off. He did get a missile off. I don't know how effective it'll be, but... Right, that is the war so far. 59 PL-15s fired. One... No. Three AIM-120 Cs fired. Another human's down. The HQ-9s are finally catching up with them. They'll just be loitering. Look at that. Look at that, viewers. It was really hard to go on the data about these missiles. We've modeled them roughly equivalent to an SM-6 from America. Uh, at some point, you've just got to start making some assumptions because of classified data. Well done, whoever escaped. Drop. If you come in at 160, you'll have targets at 30 nautical miles. Flowing from your left to right. 116. PL-15's in the air now. Oh, good lord. I don't know really what I'm supposed to look at at that point. Probably this one chasing Mr. AI down. That's a uh, uh, thingy battery. Patriot battery doing its job. All my boys have got to do, smack, is lure the Chinese into that Patriot battery. And the Patriot battery, battery will suppress them. They've got uh, 200 missiles to use, pack two. That's a lot of missiles. Bang, another guy dead. 190. Eight F-16s dead of different flavors. No Chinese dead, pretty much as we thought. Right, let's have a look at how our F-16s are doing. The last ones are going up now, guys. I think we follow these guys up because after that, we've got no cover. And we hope for the best. J-15 down. Yeah, who was it? AI. Pretty friendly fire knowing us. Look at that, viewers. That is not dissimilar. Oh, jeez, I thought it was going to be a kill from an A120C. Not dissimilar to how it would probably be. Right, I've got a spawning now, guys. Uh, words and stuff and things. Let's friggin' do this. This is very exciting right now, viewers. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Check flaps. Flaps. Up, up, up. I'm taking off a mill power. Ja. Not easy to control. Following the last F-16s up, viewers, uh, there's been no clear opportunity to take off, so breaking. Punching it. There's my beautifuls. Right, someone catch this F-16 up, guys. Probably not. I can't watch the fight, obviously, viewers, so you're just going to have to watch the scoreboard up there. It's one of the great things about the scoreboard. It lets you know roughly what's going on. And it means I can actually fly an aeroplane as well. I do like to fly every now and then, you know. I'm going to keep a milk power just until, guys. I've got some airspeed. There's my beautiful slut. I'm going to keep flipping back from here to here to try and find out what's going on. Loads of Patriots, look how many Patriots are out. We've lured them into that Samnet and look at no man's land. That's exactly what we wanted. Well done everyone. Remember, human F-16s can respawn. Two Chinese planes down now, a J-10A. I know it says A, but it is a C, take my word for it. One of those things I'll probably never get around to fixing. Fly by my beautifuls. Right, minimum drop height, Rapid Dragon, 10,000 feet. Let's go. Watching more stuff going on. I'm going to start having a look at... I can't see the red missiles anymore, viewers, because I'm in a Milsim plane now, so that's why there's no missiles showing. We've just got to get to 10,000. There's just a few planes in front of us. Oh, by the way, viewers, this is the first time we've actually tested it in multiplayer as well, so it should work. Everything should work. My guy's still doing their thing. Five Chinese down, and a whole bunch RTB by the looks of it. We can only see what our AWACS tells us now as well. So bear that in mind. We're at 5,000 feet and climbing. Drop has got missiles off on a J-15. Have some of that. And it's guiding. We're on drop tastic. Wouldn't want to be there in an F-16 right now. So that wouldn't really want to be here in a... Uh... Oh, come on, honest. This guy getting chased by a freaking Patriot. Take my Patriot. Seven Chinese down. They have wangled themselves well into the SAM net. Question is, are there any missiles on us Hercs? We will not know until we suddenly blow up, basically. 7,000 feet. 3,000 feet to go. Come on. Go on, Cannonball. Suck it to him. 30 F-16s down. I'll let my humans carry on, though. That's all the AI down, basically. There's one AI now distracting. You look, look, they've done it. They've, they've distracted enough. 2,000 feet to go, guys. Keep climbing. Come on, you big, slow ape. Guys, doors open, doors open. 
Uh, which button is it? Cap doors open. J15 down. Well done. Good shot. 9,000 feet. 1,000 feet to go. Right. But one guy who's a threat to us right now, and that's it. Guys, I'm going wet, wet, wet. Go wet with me. Got 700 feet to go. All right. I'm going to launch on three, two, one, launch. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a freaking rapid dragon. Oh, please work, please work, please work. Left pull. Gates up. Gates up. Oh, shit, which button is it? There they are. Look at the scoreboard. Anti-ship missiles. Should be 32. 14. 26. 26. I can live with that a couple of feet each other. Uh, it's, it turns out not an easy thing to do. Right, good. Where are they? There they are. Look at these valley viewers. Beautiful, beautiful Lorasms. 26 of them. We've got to go and land. Try and save our airframes, guys. F-16s, uh, this is your last life because we've used 30 airframes. Uh, become a spectator once you've been shot down, please. I could always use a fighter escort. Yeah, we'll take an escort if you've got... If you can get to us. You probably can't. Yeah, look at that. That guy's getting smacked. J-15 dodging all the friggin' Patriots. Son of a bitch. He was lucky. Ten Chinese down. Why aren't they heading home? In theory, he should be heading home, but sometimes they ignore your orders. They're like mavericks. Every one in ten's a maverick, so they'll just ignore your orders. Yeah, I'm trying to fly and look at the map. Yeah, see, look at these mavericks. They're out of everything, but they're just going in to kill. Come on. Let's get there. Right, progress of Rasms. In fact, no, we should watch the dogfight. Drop merge. I'm sure you know. Good kill. Good shot. 11 down. Well done. No, these They're ones about here. 100 miles from ships. These ones here are the 1 in 10 Chinese Mavericks that have just gone, F it. I don't care about my orders. I'm just going to go and dogfight. Huh, one's a civilian. One, uh, oh. How about that? He's landed. And gone home. A thing happened. Right. Uh, trying to do everything. Hang on. Right, we're coming in. Final. Pretty much. Doors are closed. Drop nearest uh, 10 o'clock. Angels 1.3. Nose hot. Oh, the thing happened. Merged. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. Chinese Mavericks are not pace. What's that out right. in front of us passing over the airfield? B21? A 16. A 16. Yeah, I, I have 16. Everyone said all F16. All Taiwan is dead now. We're landing. Uh, J10's coming for us. We're going to land quick and then despawn. Oh, yeah, there is a F16. Look at that, guys. Okay. Go down flaps. Please. Oh, missed the runway, guys. Oh, I missed the runway. Beta range would help you there, Cap. Roger, about to press. And. Go to the end of the runway before you press it. Great, sir. Landing it. Gracefully on the ground. Look at my guys! Guys, we did a thing! We did a thing! Right, see if reverse works to for lols. And it doesn't. Oh, I'm, re I'm re despawning, guys. I want to go and watch the fireworks. You're welcome to despawn or stay in your chopper. Uh, whatever, plane. Right, viewers, back to spectators. <laughs> Look at China. Oh, none of them RTB. That's weird. Yeah, they are. These guys are all RTBing. Look. Well, Taiwan was completely wiped out. But one good thing, Larazum has successfully been deployed in Rapid Dragon. So that was good. And look, this guy's coming to kill us. Guys, you got a uh, J-10 still on its way to kill us. Why oh, yeah. If you want to dogfight him in a... If you want to equip some guns in an a AC-30, I'll allow it for the flulls to pass time until the Lorasms reach their target. <laughs> look at this guy. One AI F-16 made it back, and then he got strafed on the ground, and he is now wingless. All of the... Um, Patriots are out of missiles, they've fired at 200 uh, pack 2s So China now have complete superiority over... Uh, where are we? Taiwan. Amazing, only 17 Chinese are dead at this point. But... Oh, look at that! There's a guy there, landing. There's a guy landing on our runway, guys. If oh, he's look. lucky, he's got a J-10 right beside him. Mm -hmm. Yep, a thing's about to happen, guys. A thing is about to happen. J-10's fired. He's gonna kill you next round. There's a there's a J10 that's completely lost to a high AOA near the, uh, the mountains. Haha, <laughs> I feel crash. 
That's all blues destroyed. Right, Lorazm, 54 miles. Guys, time to relax and stretch. There is nothing more we can do. China ha completely have Taiwan now by the bulls. All we can do is we hope we delay this fleet for the second wave coming and get the same fleet. I wonder why A2E2D is not being attacked. That's weird. I wonder if they probably gonna... are low on gas. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe. One's burning. No, one's burning towards it. I see one burning. They are going to go and kill it. Uh, we'll just have a look and talk about the costs, viewers. The costs should be, I mean, according to Wiki level of detail, uh, accurate. We've got red. 18 aircraft were shot down. 8 J 10 C, 9 J 15 Bravo. They fired 331 PL 15s. I mean, did they make that many? I don't know. Uh, 15 PL 10s. A whole load of gun bullets and 95 HHQ9 Bravos. Total cost to Chinese taxpayer, 1.7 billion equivalent dollars. Blue losses, 38. We were a little bit naughty. We went over, got 38, but that's okay. I wanted my boys to have a bit of flying at least. 38 F-16s, 26 AI. I don't know how that's 26, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I think I put too many by accident. And 12 uh, humans. So humans, you had three respawns each, which is fine. They fired 44 A120Cs, 27 uh, Lorazms from Rapid Dragon. Don't know where the other five went, but they have a habit of hitting each other when they come out of the cages. Uh, 256 Patriots fired, which is all Taiwan has now. It's now essentially defenseless. Tax payout, $3.7 billion. Look, they're all going for the AWACSs now. <laughs> oh, that's why they haven't RTB'd. They all want the AWACSs, bud. Look, though, apart from these guys here, who are RTBing. Yep, these guys are RTBing. These guys are all going for the AWACS. Well, you know what? There might be a chance they all run themselves out of fuel and crash into the sea. That's a them problem, you know? As you they may all be out of missiles. They are. They're all out of radar missiles. They're, all they've got is their heaters and no fuel, so they're, they're idling towards them slowly. Lorazm's 26 nautical miles. All right, guys. Almost at that AWACS as well. He's burning. Here he comes. I am shooting you. There's no way. Oh, I'm gonna bend. Go on, dogfight. Our dogfight him. Our dogfight him. He's missed. Dogfight ensues. How are the Rasms doing, Simba? Twelve. Ah. Yep. Sorry, he's fired on him yet. Roger. I better go and watch the Rasms. It's just too important not to watch. Right, viewers, he'll be frigging go. Twenty. A break. Seven. The Rasms popped out of the little cages. Uh, they just go along this direction until they see a ship and they'll lock onto anything. So what they hit now, they might all hit the same ship. I don't know, I'm testing it to see where it's going to dodge both the attacks. Wow. It's trying to not happen. Okay, we've got machine gun fire, sealers fire. The 055s. Lots of sea whiz fire. Lots of sea whiz fire. Oh, bang! One type 5-5 five five hit. Don't know. Should I watch from here? One type 0-5-5 five five hit. Oh, tell me the missile hasn't all been... Yes! One... Yeah! 701 down! 701 down! 701 down! It's like, uh... 901. 901. Got hit by like 13 of them. That's annoying. The Razons are done. Oh, really? Oh, man. That's the best we can do, valued viewers. Unfortunately, we don't really get. There's the Razons, especially a multiplayer. They choose whatever targets they want. And they saw fit to hit. Hang on, let's check this out. 1055 down at 0 0.9. Huh. Didn't take any damage. Look at that. That's uh, an error. It is dead. It's just bugged. I'll have to get that back to CH. Definitely uh, type 055 down. One, ah, uh, annoying. One zero seven one damaged, uh, dead. Sorry, three damaged, one beyond repair. So that's essentially four zero seven one out. One type zero five five down. No, one nine zero one down. Uh, so it wasn't the damage we hoped, guys. It wasn't the damage we'd hoped, but at least it's just giving them a damn bloody mouth. Doubt it would stop the invasion, though. It wouldn't stop the invasion. Oh, that's sad, isn't it, viewers? I'd say that in real life, the Jasms would probably deconflict a little bit better. Even with the amount that we put out, they would probably be have a little higher success rate than what we demonstrated. Roger. I might do, out of interest, guys, while we've got a little bit of time, why don't we hop out the server? I might just set up a scenario of trying it on just single player. 
Let's go and have a quick look. Stand by. Okay, welcome back, viewers. We're now in single player. I've got 26 uh, missiles to fire with AI flying the uh, uh, Herculeses. So one less missile, but this time it's on single player. Purely for our interest. Let's see what happens. It's going to be very controversial if we do get a different result now, isn't it? Well, we drained quite a lot of the uh, HQ-9Bs from the ships when we, did. we were flying around while yeah. we link. We did. That's a lot of, yeah, nothing else. There's a lot of millions of dollars worth of missiles there. It makes a difference, guys, without my human F-16s, because these are just the AI F-16s, and they're getting slaughtered. The humans did a lot better. Okay, 10 miles. Let's play it from here, viewers. Otherwise, the fight's going more or less the same as... Let's see how they deconflict in the single player. At this point, they're actually seeing the targets with their own radars, and they're making their decisions. What should I go for? What should I go for? This is a bit that's very hard for us to control, unfortunately. I want to see one that's going for the top. I want to see these ones that go right down the gullet of the 055. That 055 firing. 055 firing. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. The computer's struggling with it now. Look at that. One type 5, two type 5s hit this time, type 055s. Five Whole bunch of 701s hit, some multiple times. Oh, look at that. Loads of ships getting hit this time. This is what I mean, value viewers. I can only set it up on single player where it worked really well, and then you run it on multiplayer and it just doesn't work at all. So. All right, so the deconflictions will work this time, guys. Look at that. Let me try and ascertain what's happened. Three zero five fives completely destroyed. You can see they haven't bugged this time on multiplayer. They, they bugged the damage bars didn't work. So three completely destroyed. Uh, nearly a billion dollars each. Then the zero seven ones. Only one was destroyed, but they've all been hit. You see that? They're full of oh, that one there. Full of shrapnel. So it won't be complete as mission, obviously. So all the main fighters at the front are dead. The 052s haven't been destroyed, but the tonnage is lower. That's probably why. Uh, 071 destroyed. And this 071 out of action. 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 Only three 071s remain. Only three 901s remain. Uh, the other have been destroyed. So you've only got five landing ships left out of, I don't know, 20 or whatever we had before. I would say that is, in single player, mission accomplished. Any other thoughts, guys? If you take a look at the ones I got here, of course, they're carrying a lot of ammunition for the invasion itself, so yeah, the chances are they'll probably cook off. Yeah. Each, well, yeah, when you've been hit by a lot of rasm, it's, even if it doesn't break the spine of the ship, it's the ship's out of action. Even, it'll put a carrier out of action when it sink it, but it'll put a carrier out of action. I would... Let me know what you think, valued viewers. I would say that's an invasion fleet out of action, personally. More than 50% of it's been destroyed. Other than these things here, which actually can't invade. They're just, they're just uh, supply uh, protection. It's all about how you want to play that. Uh, do you want to put the multiplayer results in? Or do you want to put the single player results in? I personally would put the single player results in. That's when it's working properly. I still thoroughly enjoyed that. Let me know what you want to hit with uh, Rapid Dragon next. And we'll see you later.